Hello everyone, this is Donna Rashford from Integration Inspiration and I'm here with some different technology tips. And this tip is how to create a Bitmoji email signature. So here we go. So first what I did was I um, made sure I sized my Bitmoji uh, my design, I started it off in Canva, which I think Canva's having like a little special where it can be free for educators. So check into that. I think you need your school email, but I love working with Canva. Uh, I'm not being paid by them. <clears throat> and so my custom size is 600 by 200 pixels. So I customize that size and you go to resize to do that. <clears throat> um, I, and I also, I think I typed in on my templates email he header next um what i did was i took my bitmoji that i really liked and i put it in the corner of my screen and uh there are some bitmojis where you sit in the couch or doing different things i also made my bitmoji wear some professional clothes um <clears throat> but you can do whichever one you feel comfortable with so i'm going to pick just a kind of a straightforward pose for my bitmoji just standing because i um yeah, that's what I'm just going to do. And you can just click, right click it or control click and then copy it. Then you paste it where you want on your um, page. You can make resize it the size that you want. Then you're going to get a text box. And what I did was I had a heading box and then just a subheading for. Uh, the heading was for my name and then I picked a font that I thought was you know jazzy for my name and <clears throat> so type type your name and what you can do one cool thing about Canva there's millions of fonts you can search corporate for to find something that's kind of like a little bit more standard or handwriting if you want it to look a little fancy. So you can pick whichever font you like for your name. So I'm just gonna do the Beth Allen. No, that wasn't the one I like. I kind of like this one. So just for, you know, today, I'm going to use that one and then you size it what size you want. Okay, there we go. You move it where you want it to be. Then, of course, I took a another text box, a set subheading, and I put, you know, my information. <clears throat> and you can put your email address. And you can also put like a Twitter handle or Instagram handle if you have an educational Instagram account. <clears throat> then I resize that. Oh, and then I changed that font to make it, let me see which font was this. Okay, this is Valero Zen, so. Oops, oh my gosh. Okay, thankfully we have the undo button. That's another thing I like about Canva. So you want to make, you know, you can make it whatever font you want and whatever, you know, whatever font you like. Okay, there we go. You position it where you want it to go. And I also added my credentials digital credentials that i have so i um 
if you've done any trainings like um, Wakelet or Flipgrid or anything like that, what you do is upload the image for it into Canva and then you just click it and you can move it where you want it to go. So some, I've seen some people have it at the bottom. So you just kind of got to move things around to make it be the way you want it to be. Okay. So I would probably just move this up a little bit, just a little. And then you see how I can, I have my, you don't, the thing about the header, you don't want anything too close to the bottom. So then um, let's say I wanted to put my Mozilla on here. Maybe I'll put it right there. And the cool thing about Canva, it lines things up for you. Love that option. So then once you're completed that, you're going to download it. And since I did more than one, I'm just going to click that I just want page two. Done. Download. Now I have my PNG for my Bitmoji email signature created in Canva. Okay, there we go.